Great day everyone, welcome to another Counter-Strike tutorial on this channel. In today's video I'm going to show you best launch options for your Counter-Strike. So let's go for it. First of all, let's start with what I consider must-have launch options and then I will add few more optional as well. Hi, use this launch option to set up CS2 high priority process. Console, the option will force console opening once the game is started. D3D9EX1 or no D3D9EX1. Command for switching on or off D3D9X mode technology, aka Direct3D9X technology. It's unloading processor at 40% while loading video card. In full screen mode, the game is wrapping and unwrapping much faster with the help of Alt Plus tab. It is worth trying this command for your own PC since game performance may be improved as well. Frag 240. Customization of play frequency for CS2. Primary should be set to frequency of your monitor. That means how many hertz you got on your monitor. No joy, switching off joysticks and joystick support. No vid, intro video is disabled. Plus mat Q mode 2. Very handy command which is switching on multicore processing. As the result, FPS is rising. FPS max 0. This command eliminate FPS limitations. Use FPS max 0 value if you are the owner of a high-end PC with 400 or 500 plus average FPS. Or use FPS max at level of 200, 300 or 400 value to prevent input lag and VAR and SP values rising on mid and PC. The value should be chosen according to your mean FPS value. CL interp ratio 1 and CL interp 0.031. This is interpolation setting. The majority of people are playing with 1 and 0 values and thus they are feeling uncomfortable when shooting. It seems that crosshair is reeling and shaking. Never use interp 0 or any else than 0.031 playing online CS. But the ratio should be tested between 1 and 2. Interp 0 is good for games on LAN. Tcrate 128. The Tcrate setting for your client will be working for your offline servers and game with bots. CL CMD rate 128 and CL update rate 128 with the star. The number of updates per second received and sent on server. In other words, the value should be maximum, namely 128. Plus CL force preload 1. The game is uploading all map files before logging into the server. What reducing the load on the computer during the match? Okay, so those were what I consider must have launch options in your CS2. Now let's take a look on few more optional ones. Full or full screen. The game will start in full screen mode. Window or windowed. The game will start in the regular window. No border. The game window won't have edges. W1920H1080. Setting up desired CS2 screen resolution. H for high, W for width. No HLTV. Switches of all Go TV and Source TV opportunities. Auto config. This command lets you restore config file settings to default. Plus exec file name. Launch option that launching the config with your custom game settings. The file should be placed into the folder with your CS2 configs. CL show FPS 1. Your FPS will be displayed at top corner of the game, plus R underscore draw particles 0. Launch option disables particles animation. Graphics will get worse, but might improve your performance. Mat disable fancy blending 1. This command is for fancy blending and degrades the quality of textures. As a result, the performance is increasing. R emulate G. OpenGL emulation is working only for Windows and can increase your FPS. Soft particles default off. This is rendering particle settings for CS2. This turns off soft particles in the game and should possibly improve in your performance. No preload. Cancel models, files, and textures preloading. Limit VS const. Limits number of vertex shaders up to 256. Force no vsync. Switches off vsync technology. Violence hblood zero. Command which eliminates the elements of violence in the game particularly blood and low violence. If you are squeamish or just don't want the game to render the particle effects for blood, you can use this to disable blood and gore. R dynamic 0 or 1. Switches on and off dynamic lighting. In case you don't know where you can find and set up your launch options, you can simply open your Steam. You will go to library, 
Then you will right click on your Counter Strike 2. So right click, you will go to properties. And then you can see here launch options. You will simply put there all of the launch options that you think are useful as per this video. So I will put there all of my best launch options that I just mentioned in this video. And I can simply close this setting. And next time I will launch the CS2, it will already be affected by the launch options I just said. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for this video. Really hope you found it what you were looking for. If you want, you got a list of all of the best launch options that I just mentioned in this video in the description under the video. And in case you want to support this channel, you can click on like, subscribe and click on bell as well. And if you want to support us even more, you can join our membership program where you will get access to members only posts and special nade lineups every week. Okay, but for today's video, it's really all. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and see you all in the next video. Goodbye.